Hey guys, it's me, Tuck, and I'm back with more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, in the last episode, we... Well, I think we got three more stars. I would remember, but, of course, um, my recordings that I had all effed up the audacity part where I speak. And I don't think post-commentary would be as exciting. It's barely exciting enough, so... I was just thinking I'll do it over. We're not that far into the game. Plus, it, it would be a good time to collect a bunch of star bits, which I did, off screen. And now we're going to continue on with the first world boss, Bowser Jr.'s fiery flotilla, Gobblegut's aching belly. And if you haven't known by yet, Gobblegut is the boss, but we haven't got to there yet. As it shows a nice little preview, you can see the comet middle. Pretty much all of the first portion. He even has statues of himself. Jeez. So basically everything I had recorded, all of Super Mario Galaxy 2, everything of Donkey Kong Barrel Blast, Golden Eye, all gone. And I was ready to upload a lot of stuff. So I thought for a moment, and I decided, why not just ha keep what I'm currently having to do on each project, only the only things that are recorded, not have a bunch of videos all recorded on one day and then upload them through different days, because it kind of messes it up. So I guess basically what I'm trying to say is that I'll have daily videos if I can pull that off. And up here, by the way, is a bunch of star bits. You have to go up here later in the game, so... Pretty much just showing you how to get up there pretty quickly. I think we can reach that planet from here. I'm just gonna skip the one up. I don't need it. Let's see if we can reach it. Yes, we can. Haha. -ha. It's like such a badass. We're breaking level. Anyways. Stupid hint TV, which we're going to totally ignore. And then Kamek has to shoot his junk at us. I do not want Kamek junk in my face. But anyways, head up here. Avoid all these fire things. Grab this health mushroom if you need it. Trust me, I probably will need it. Because this boss still gives me trouble. And here we are. And there is Bowser Jr. and a random... ship. We'll just call it a ship with a gigantically large couch. Waha ha. I did it this far, huh? I won't need my dad's help to finish you off. I got a big surprise for you. Oh, gobble gut, dinner's on. Don't forget to protect your belly ache bulges. As I stutter a bit. <laughs> belly ache bulges. How? Is he hungry or something? He doesn't look hungry, although he ate that rock. He doesn't look hungry at all. We'll just, we'll just say he's not hungry. I don't even know what I'm saying, to be honest. But anyways, this is the boss. And those little red bumps on his body is basically what you need to hit. He will dive for you, like so. And then you'll hear a train noise. That's when he's going to dig through the planet. Which is the perfect time to hit these. The first three are incredibly easy. And then the hard part is when you try to get the final three. So this part should be very interesting. Let's get all these wonderful star bits. Since we're such star bit whores. Come on, hurry up. Take your time, gobble good. Aw, oh, darn it. Well, we missed... We just need to get that last belly thing. Aw, oh, we missed it. And we're... crashing in all kinds of random stuff. Let's get some health back. Come on, Gobblegut. Take your sweet, precious time. He's going at, like, grandma pace. Aw, oh, okay, we got it. I was about to say, if we miss that, that would suck. 
and I'm trying to look at my audacity to make sure it doesn't fail because it did last time and it was very annoying I had like what 16 videos ready to upload and I might as well say these updates I guess in this video since Donkey Kong Barrel Blast is out of the thing with Bobby all the updates I said were in there um, recently I've gotten Epic Mickey and Donkey Kong Country Returns, but I'm not going to play them. Haha, I thought you could see a playthrough of those. Not really. I'm waiting until Christmas because I go, I go, I follow the rules. I'm a good, I'm a good kid. You can call me a goody goody, I guess. But I'm gonna play them first a little bit, and then I'll probably do a playthrough on them. Preferably, I'll probably do a playthrough on Donkey Kong Country Returns first, maybe. And then Epic Mickey. Maybe the other way around. But who knows. Wow, look at that. You did it. You brought back a Grand Star. That's great. Now we can use the power of the Grand Star to travel to another world. Or one step closer to retrieving your special one, buddy. Through space and time to an unknown world we go. He's jiggling just thinking about it. I think someone needs to lay off the candy bars, the Twinkies, Lubba. Lay off the Twinkies. But anyways, we are heading to World 2. They show a wonderful cutscene you know, of just this randomly going into this big, huge, gaping hole out of nowhere. And here we are. Wow, take a look at that. We found an entirely new world. No crap, look where we're at. We went from blue to orange. But anyways, we still have to collect more power stars, and I'm not going to stop right here, because a seven minute video would not be pretty good. Especially since you can, I can upload over 15 minutes. Although I probably won't try to get over 15 minutes on every video. I don't know if I can, if I have this privilege for long or not, so, I, I don't really know, so I'm just not going to abuse it. Maybe if I don't abuse it, I could probably keep it for longer, for when I actually need it or something. I'll need it for Barrel Blast, I can assure you that. Oh, I was about to say, what? Are we breaking the level again? Anyways, this galaxy involves a lot of ground pounding, so you better get used to the wonderful effect of it. I guess we'll move on. The rest is music, coins, and star bits, so... We have to reach that one planet to face the easiest boss on Earth. Mario, you have to run into the wall like a complete tard. But anyways, here up ahead is the common metal. Oh no, we're about to fall. Oh, we were so close. Oh well, we'll make our way up now. And then you have to hurry up through here because it'll start cutting off each section. So these little bugs are screwed as we run by them and they just randomly fall into oblivion. These little squeegee things that kind of remind me of like a sponge or something. I can't really honestly tell you. And then when you activate the switch, all these saws will go crazy. But it doesn't really matter because it doesn't take that long to move on. And I think there's a bunch of star bits around here, but let's worry about that later. I think I'll always fall off whenever I stand on the side of this planet. I just think I do. Just, it's, it just, it's kind of weird, I guess. It looks weird the way, like, you have to stand on the planet and stuff. But anyways, just ground pound all of these in. 
I wonder, what, I wonder what happens if you can go on the bottom. I'm not gonna try. We're already right here at the end of the level anyways. <laughs> anyways, this is the most easiest mini-boss on Earth. Just ground pound on this little child, apparently, of this giant, angry, pissed-off one. And I cannot believe we just got hit to this boss. Easiest boss in the game, and we just lost a health to it. Wonderful. But anyways, just ground pound him, and the star is yours. I might go for one more star. Maybe. I'm not sure. Currently, this video is panning out pretty good, as far as I can tell. And also, hopefully you all noticed, forgot to mention this, that hopefully project quality has taken effect. It actually has. The quality has improved on my videos a little bit. At least I think so. But anyways, I can now have like 360p or 480p. I usually just had 240, which sucked, but now it's better. I'm surprised the Dazzle can actually do that, but I'm still probably going to get a different capture card. But anyways, he informs us that there is a few world changes, and of course you have to just tell us something else, don't you? That Toad game came back with you, right? He sure loves delivering mail. What, are you going to tell me to view him too? Go over there and talk to him? Of course you are. Because you're too fat to do it yourself, Lola. Jeez. Hey Mario, I decided to start delivering mail, and my first letter is for you. Well, thank you. Anyways, Peach sends us one of the million letters in the game we'll probably get from her, telling her that she is still captured and all that stuff, and she thinks that we'll save her, and she gives us one-ups in every single video. Not video, mail. Uh, I don't think we can make a star now, since Lobo just took precious time away from us. So, in the next video, we'll continue on through World 2 and find more stuff. This is Tuck, and thanks you all for watching.